Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the best free VPNs currently available on Windows. Now, when it comes to free VPNs, you do have a lot of options. If you just do a quick search, you'll find there are a ton of free VPNs and many of these VPNs are not going to be very secure. There have been cases before of free VPNs leaking personal user data out over the internet. And that's because since they're not getting paid by you, the user, they're going to be taking your information and selling it to third parties and they're going to be storing all of that personal user data. So that makes a lot of free VPNs just unsafe to use. And on top of that, a lot of them just don't work very well. They might be slow. You might not be able to stay connected to the VPN server or you just won't be able to access whichever website or streaming platform, whatever it is that you want to access, you just won't be able to do it with a free VPN. So I've done a lot of research and testing in order to find the best ones out there. And the top two free VPNs, in my opinion, are this one over here, Winscribe, and this one, Proton VPN. Both of these VPNs have a free version and a paid version. And of course, they want you to move up to the paid version. But in this video, I'm just going to be giving you a review of the free versions of both of these VPNs. And if at any point you want to find out more about any of the VPNs that I'll be mentioning in this video, you'll find more information and useful links in the description below. Now with Proton VPN, in the free version, you're going to be quite limited to what you're going to get. Whereas in the paid version, this is actually a really, really good VPN. If you're going to go for a paid VPN, you're going to get 112 countries to choose from in the free version, only five countries in the paid version. You can connect to 10 different devices, but in the free version, only one. And you also won't get the streaming service support. You can only stream with the VPN or a torrent if you are using the paid version. So you're going to get a pretty limited VPN with the free version. The advantages of Proton VPN are in two main areas. Firstly, you have unlimited data. Unlike many free VPNs, Winscribe included, you are limited to the amount of data that you can use. With Winscribe, you only get 10 gigabytes of data. This can go up to 15 if you post about Winscribe on X, but you are going to be limited. With Proton VPN, there is unlimited data. The second thing about Proton VPN is just their reputation and the things that they've done in order to ensure that they are a truly private and secure company. They are based in Switzerland, which is a very privacy friendly country. Their code is open source. They've done audits on all of their applications, and they've also done three specific audits relating to their no logs policy, meaning that they have had an outside company come in and check out and ensure that they do not keep any user data local on their own servers. So overall with Proton VPN, it's going to be limited in terms of what you can do with it. You can only connect to five different countries. You won't have as many features, but you will have unlimited data and it is a very private and secure VPN. On the other hand, Winscribe is kind of the opposite. They don't have the same reputation for privacy and security. It's not bad. They have done audits of their applications and they have done audits of their servers. Their code is also open sourced. They've been very transparent about their no logs policy and their overall security. They published this report where they were first tested in the beginning of June and there was found to be some relatively low vulnerabilities, but still they were there in their no log policy. But then they fixed the issues and they were tested again later in the month and the issues were found to have been solved. So they are being very transparent. They even have a transparency report showing how many times they have had requests for data from different copyright or law enforcement agencies. So they are doing their best, but they just don't have the reputation like Proton does with Proton Mail and all the other Proton products. You're also going to have that 10 gigabyte limit, but you can use Winscribe with Netflix. You may have to try out different servers. It might be a bit of a cat and mouse game, but it will work with Netflix and other streaming content as opposed to Proton VPN, where you only have access to five countries with Winscribe. You're going to have access to 10 in the free version. And to top it all off, what really makes the free version of Winscribe very special is that you're going to have access to a ton of different features over here. You have this one. I really like secure hotspot, which allows you to create a hotspot and anybody connected to it will also be using the VPN as well. So you are going to have a lot of different features and options, including the protocols that you can connect to. 
they actually have a full list of different protocols. This is part of how the VPN connects to your computer and to the internet and using different protocols can result in either faster speeds, like if you're using WireGuard or they have the stealth protocol, which works to hide the fact that you're even using a VPN. So you have all these different options and features in the free version, which isn't so common when it comes to free VPNs. They tend to be more like Proton, where a lot of the features are going to be blocked by a paywall. So overall, those are my two top recommendations. If you're looking for a free VPN in order to get more privacy and security, then I would definitely recommend that you go with Proton. If you're looking for features, if you're looking for streaming content online on websites like Netflix or Hulu, then I would recommend Windscribe. And while these are my top recommendations when it comes to free VPNs on a Windows computer, since I know that both of these have a relatively low amount of locations you can connect to with Proton being five and Windscribe being 10, if you do need a VPN that has a lot of locations that you can choose from, a free VPN, then the option to go with would be TunnelBear. TunnelBear allows you to access all the locations in the free version that are also available in the paid version. There's no difference in terms of location. So you have a bunch of servers in Europe, a few in North America, and then also you're going to have a few in Southeast and East Asia. TunnelBear also has a bunch of security audits that they have passed, so you know it's a secure VPN. The one main drawback with this option is that you only get two gigabytes of data, so it's not a lot. It's really just going to be good for kind of small tasks, maybe just accessing a bank account or a cryptocurrency account, things like that but not for streaming or anything that's going to take a large amount of data. By the way, even if you wanted to use TunnelBear to stream content, you wouldn't be able to because like ProtonVPN, it's just not supported with their VPN. So those are my top picks. If you are looking to upgrade from a free VPN to a paid VPN, then among these options, I would definitely go with the paid version of Proton. It's actually a really solid VPN and you're going to get a lot of different features, a lot of locations, and it just works really well. But if you want to know what I think the top paid VPNs are, well, the number one is going to be ExpressVPN. This is personally my favorite VPN, and it's the one that I use the most. It's super secure. They have the most audits of any VPN that I know of. It's really fast, really stable, and it just does the job really well. You can pretty much get anything you want out of a VPN from Express. If you're on a budget, then another really good option for a paid VPN would be Surfshark. The premium plan for Surfshark is going to be cheaper than the basic plan for a lot of other VPNs out there. So you're really getting a really good bang for your buck. You're going to get a lot of high end features and just overall a really solid VPN without breaking the bank. So those are my recommendations for you guys. I hope this helped you out. If you want full reviews for any of these VPNs, you'll find that in the description below. And you'll also find discount links for all of these VPNs that will save you some extra money if you want to try them out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.